well, welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a room styling video. I was just about to sit down to shoot another video and I was about to switch a few things up as we are going into the autumn months. So I do like to change things around in my home as the seasons change. And I thought it would be a nice idea to um, film some of the things I'm going to be doing um, and show you how I switch things up here in my living room for the autumn months. So I'm not going to be doing anything too drastic. I'm just going to be getting rid of some of the things that feel particularly summery and introducing some cozier, more autumnal tones and just hopefully um, warm the whole place up, make it feel a bit more cozy. Now we're going into autumn and the nights are drawing in. So before we get cracking, if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also follow me over on Instagram where I regularly post pictures of my home and various little bits and pieces as well as some outfit photos as well in case you're interested in fashion um, so that's where you can find me on a day-to-day -day basis my Instagram is Mr Carrington the word Mr and then Carrington so hopefully see you over there as well right where shall we begin I actually have no idea where we're going to begin <laughs> I'm making this one up as I go along what's new Okay, I'm going to start off with the fireplace. As you can see, the mantelpiece has become quite cluttered and also um, the bit down here has as well. I've forgotten what you call that bit. Um, is it the hearth? I can't remember. But the bit down there is a mess as well. I've got prints here that need to be hung up. I've got loads of plants um, and I've got this chest in front of it. So I'll move that out of the way so you can see. And I'm just going to start off, sorry, I'm just going to start off by getting rid of everything and then we can start afresh. Let's cue the time lapse. I've just found the DIY that I did for Molly Makes magazine, these um, cane rattan mirrors. And I've got another one coming out in the November issue. Um, so in that one, there's a string wrap lamp. So it's really easy to do actually, but it took me ages, but I think it's very effective. So that's gonna be in next month's issue if you fancy having a look. Does anyone have any tips for storing magazines if you want to keep just the pages? What should I do? Should I just cut those out and put them in a file? I need to figure that out. Um, oh my God, just keep the magazine. It's the first DIY commission that I've had, so I think I should probably keep that. So I've just given that all a wipe down with a damp cloth. I've just gone all around the mantelpiece and the mirror and um, all around the fireplace um, to get rid of all the dust. I've just used some hot water on that and now we can style up the mantelpiece. I'm gonna start off with some taller pieces. So these are some willow branches that I picked up at my local florist. This vase came from Trade, I think. I've just wiped it so it's a bit damp. Yeah, and I think this was um, originally from Debenhams. I think it might have been the Jasper Conran range. Um, so I'm going to put the taller vases to one side, I think, just to add a bit of height. Um, I think that looks quite cool, especially um, if you've got a tall ceiling. If you can put something tall, it draws attention to the fact that your ceiling's tall. Like, mine's not really tall. That makes it sound really grand in here, but um, it's tallish. <laughs> and I've got these um, tall reeds um, so these I think look quite autumnal as well and I've put them in this dark glass jar from Ikea these are from Abigail Ahern she does really brilliant probably the best ones I've come across in terms of artificial flowers and foliage um, and you can order from her online as well so I'll link her website down below for you I'm gonna put those there the Sunbeam mirror, by the way, is something that I upcycled from Poundland. It's literally just a mirror and a load of bamboo sticks that I bought from Poundland and basically stuck around and spray painted it copper. The whole tutorial's in a video for you that I will link below in case you haven't seen that and you'd like to have a go at it. I'm going to add in this vase to the other side. I picked this one up in the anthropology sale earlier in the year. I'm going to add some of this foliage that's also from Abigail Ahern. Okay, next up I'm going to add some living plants. I've got this one here in this pot that I picked up at the car boot sale. 
and I've trimmed down some roses. These orange ones I think are great for this time of year, really nice colour, and I've popped them into this plant pot which I picked up in Ikea. The last thing that I'm going to add is this candle. This is the pomander candle from Diptyque. This one smells really festive. It smells of like orangey cloves kind of vibe. So great for the autumn months going into Christmas time. Shouldn't say that yet, should I? Okay, I've said it. <laughs> and um, also one of these uh, munchkin pumpkins, which I just think are really nice little decorative pieces for this time of year. So there we go, that's all done. I've kept it fairly minimal, well minimal for me. Um, so yeah, we've got some foliage going on, some real plants, some fresh flowers, candle pumpkin, and um, a bit of height as well to take the eye up to the ceiling. So I think that looks quite nice. And now we're going to tackle this area here. Down here, the first thing I'm going to add is this basket that I picked up recently at the car boot sale. It's a decent size. I've actually been using this to take things up and down the stairs and it's been really handy for that. I've just been throwing things in this that I need to go upstairs and then using it just to carry things around in. But I've got a new use for it now for autumn. I think I'm going to pop it right here, which is right next to the sofa, and I'm going to put a couple of blankets in here, so if there's any chilly evenings, there's some blankets right next to the sofa. And I've just taken this wreath that I made at the IKEA press day, it's just made up of eucalyptus leaves and some, I think they're slow berries, um, artificial ones, all from IKEA, just on this um, plain wreath base. That was really easy to do, I just snipped them all down and poked them in all in the same direction, just kept going round. And I'm going to add that onto the fireplace here. In case you're wondering, the suitcase on top I salvaged, um, so that was a skip find. And in there I've just got some speakers and a game of Bananagrams, in case you were wondering. I picked up this cane tray with the brass edge at a charity shop and I'm going to add this in now and place some various small plants and succulents on that. So these ones I picked up from Lidl in the vintage tins. And I'm just going to add in another plant that was over the other side of the room. And I found this lantern that I had outside on the roof terrace but I've bought it in for the winter so I'm going to pop that down there as well to add a few tea lights into that. and switching things around as I go, as you can see. And um, yeah, I think that looks quite cool. Okay, so onto this corner. This is kind of my YouTube corner. Well, it's where I most often sit to film my videos. It's just where I feel most comfortable. And this table's kind of become my backdrop. But I think I want to switch it up a bit. I've DIY'd this shelf that you may have seen in my thrift store DIY video. But I think it's time for that to go to a different room. And I'm going to introduce some new pieces on here. Actually, let's hang this on the corner of the fireplace here to balance out the other side. And then down underneath we had some lavender. So I think it's time for that to go away. Just cleaned out all of this corner. Um, this is just a wire container from Tiger that we keep our remotes in. Um, so usually that's down next to the sofa here. And then that trunk over there is another skip find and that's what I keep all of our candles in. I've got this box that I picked up in Egypt when we went on holiday there and that's what we just keep little keepsakes in and things like that. And then we've got this stained glass window um, which I might pop back up top again. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, so I think I'm going to put that at the top. And then I had these shelves in the bedroom. We were just keeping our dumbbells on them, but I think I can keep those under the bed instead and use this to display some plants on here. This plant I picked up from Lidl and it's doing really well. And the pot came from H&M Home. And now onto these shelves, I'm going to add some smaller plants and some pumpkins. So as you can probably tell by that time lapse, I do tweak things around a bit as I go, um, and it may change again still, but um, that's roughly where we're at with this area. And I just decided to switch out that terrarium for this glass jar that I picked up at a car boot sale, and I'm going to add into it some of these decorative pumpkins. 
onto my sofa next. So as you can see, my sofa is dark grey. I've told you about this previously, but in case you didn't know, um, this is an old IKEA sofa. I don't think they do this model anymore, but what I did was sent off for a new cover for it. There's a company um, that will do IKEA sofa covers for you in whatever fabric you want. So we opted for this dark grey because basically it works as a really nice backdrop for any cushions that you like, so you can switch them up seasonally to change the whole look of the sofa. This sofa's lasted for ages, and I think um, the hard wearing dark grey covers are a really good idea because obviously it doesn't show up um, any stains or <laughs> not that it's covered in stains, but you know what I mean. Um, it doesn't show up the dirt, I think is what I'm trying to say. Um, so, as it's now going into autumn, I think the blues and the greens. The green's all right, aren't they? But I think these are all a bit too summery. So we're going to swap these out. This was the recent car boot sale purchase. We've got a Mazzoni cushion I picked up in trade, and we've got a Peace cushion that I picked up in Urban Outfitters. Um, what I'm going to do with this one, and, oh, that one as well is a recent car boot sale purchase, but that is too summery, so that's going to go away in storage for a bit. And then we're going to keep the greens, because I think these work all year round. Um, these were also from Urban Outfitters, I picked those up in the sale, this green velvet. And what I'm going to do is add in um, this one that came from Tiger, along with this one from Primark and we're going to cover these two in these new um, cushion covers that I picked up from H&M Home. And these were two pounds in the sale, and they've got this kind of leaf or feather print design, but I really liked the orange colours. I thought it'd be perfect for a little autumn switch up. So the great thing about buying cushion covers is obviously you can just pop them over your existing cushions and completely change the look of your sofa and then you don't end up with loads and loads of cushions. You can just um, pop them over the existing cushion covers and you can keep going, just keep rotating them. So when um, the seasons change again, you can just switch them back and flip them the other way around and then you're not having to store the um, cushion covers anywhere around your home. They're literally just concealed inside. That's a little tip if you want to easily change the look of your sofa without um, having to spend loads of money and also um, use up much storage space. And then inside this trunk, I keep various blankets and spare bedding. Um, so what I'm going to do is just bring out a couple of blankets. What should we go for? Maybe this one. And maybe this one as well, this brown one here. And I'm gonna pop this one away for the time being. Along with this rug. And I'm just gonna roll up this blanket and pop it in the basket so that it's easy to grab. And I'm going to add this woolen blanket or throw to the back of the sofa. We had a rug on there before, but obviously you can't wrap yourself up in a rug. Well, <laughs> you probably wouldn't want to. And so this uh, is just like an option if it is chilly. Yeah. So the last area I'm going to tackle is the trunk here. So we use this as our coffee table. The first thing I'm going to do is add this tray that I made from a tray from Poundland, and then this was some fringing that I picked up in a thrift shop. That DIY is on my charity shop DIYs video, if you want to see how I put that together. And this is good as a solid piece that we can pop our drinks into, like so, and I'm going to add a candle as well. And then in this basket kind of tray that I picked up at the car boot sale, I'm going to add this leaf trinket dish that I picked up in Primark for £3.50, it's still got the label on. I'm also going to add some Space NK incense sticks. These smell amazing and are really nice to burn in the winter months. And also some paddy wax, chamomile and fig room spray. I do like the living room to smell nice. And I'm going to tuck the lighter away under here somewhere so you can't really see it, but 
I know it's there because that is something that always goes missing in our home and I spend a lot of my life looking for something to light the candles with. I've also got an empty candle holder here, which I'm going to fill up with conkers that I had left over from one of my DIYs. Just think they look really nice and it gives it a bit of a nature feel. So that's it, I hope you like what I've done with the room. Only a few little switch ups, but I think it's made a massive difference and it certainly does feel a lot more cozy in here now, ready for the autumn months. And there will be some more changes happening come December, but I'm not gonna mention that word twice in one video. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this, hopefully it gave you some ideas of things that you can do with your place as well. If you've got any tips for me, I would love to hear them in the comments down below. So let me know what sort of things you do around your home to change it up for the autumn months. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget I'm over on Instagram as well. If you want to have a look at some photos of my place, I also post stories on there most days. So it's an easy way for you to come and have a chat to me if you want to. So feel free to pop over there as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Can you hear that music? Hopefully you can't hear it. You probably can hear it. The sunbeam mi- Oh. Like that. <laughs> Why has it gone so bright? Can you see? Get down. I picked up- Where are you? I feel like you're miles away. Um, it's like, hello. Oh, thumbnail. Naughty.